Welcome to the Kala Virtual Membership Meeting and Award Ceremony held on June 21st, 2023. This recording is to support those who were unable to attend the synchronous virtual session, which was held on June 21st through Kumo. First, we'd like to give a shout out and thanks to our sponsors for supporting Kala and its 50th anniversary. So that includes Overdrive, Penguin Random House Library Marketing, San Jose State University School of Information, Sage Publishing, Simon & Schuster, EBSCO, and NASIG. If you are a member of some of these groups or if your library subscribes to some of these databases, please recognize and thank our sponsors. If you know them, reach out to your vendors and thank them for supporting Kala. In addition, if you are attending the American Library Association's annual conference held in Chicago later this week, and you are planning to go to the exhibit booths, please see these different groups if they are there and thank them for their support to Kala. And we also have them, some of the representatives attending the Kala 50th anniversary social and poster session, which you can also thank them in person. In addition, we wanna give a special thanks to our individual donors. So many folks have donated over the course of this year and we wanna recognize and thank them for supporting Kala um, and recognizing that their donation can go a long way in supporting Kala and 50th anniversary. We also wanna welcome first new and potential members, returning and international members, ALA Spectrum Scholars, and we currently have over 600 Kala members globally. For those who are not familiar, the ALA Spectrum Scholars is a program from the American Library Association aimed at recruiting underrepresented and marginalized groups into the profession. And it's been going on for over a decade and ALA has done an incredible job. And Kala has also many members who are part of the Spectrum Scholars program. So first we want to welcome and introduce Kala, give a little information about Kala for those who are new and potential members of Kala and then highlight over upcoming events and due dates. And then we will proceed to the award ceremony from there. So Kala's mission statement, for those who are not familiar, Kala's mission statement is to support the professional development and research scholarship of Kala members, advocate Chinese American librarians in professional organizations, and enhance the leadership development of Chinese American librarians through training, mentoring, networking, and collaboration with colleagues in the United States and abroad. Kala's work inspires Chinese American librarians to meet their professional goals and to make valuable contributions to the global library community. Kala's organizational values, they include professionalism, advocacy, collaborative leadership, positive, open, open and inclusive environments, accountability, transparency and integrity, service to members, continuous learning and global perspectives. If you're wondering what these organizational values are, they are actually helping Kala as an organization to determine priorities and to determine decision making. So for example, if Kala is given a decision to fund something or to support a project, then we might look at these organizational values to help make our determination, whether they are providing service to members or offering global perspectives and so forth. Kala is a nonprofit library association started in 1973 uh, based in the Midwest chapter, uh, Midwest region at the time, and now there's a chapter, and now it's grown so much uh, vastly globally. And so we have organizational values to help us determine uh, initiatives and projects back from 1973. And they are always um, changing uh, in terms of when we do strategic planning and it, get input from our members. Kala is a member of these three groups. First, it's the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions, known as IFLA. IFLA every year hosts a annual conference known as the World Library and Information Congress that's held somewhere around the world each year in August. This year, it'll be in Rotterdam. And Kala is a member of IFLA where we have gatherings at IFLA. Members participate in IFLA by being representatives in the standing committees. And also we have travel grants supporting Kala members to participate in IFLA. ALA, Kala is a member of the American Library Association. ALA meets twice a year in January, also known as their Lip Learn X Conference, formerly known as the Midwinter Conference, and in June, the annual conference. 
the one that's coming up right now in Chicago. Kala is a member of ALA for quite a while, and the opportunity that we get is that Kala members come together at ALA co annual conference, usually, and we have events, sessions, and other programs and gatherings. More information will be shared later in this presentation. Kala is also a member of the Joint Council of Librarians of Color, which is comprised of other library associations focusing on racially underrepresented groups. And Kala is a member of JCLC, which means that we have a representative in the board, in the steering committee for the conference. And you may have seen previously a conference that was held in St. Pete, Florida, back in February of 2023. Kala members volunteer to support the conference by being committee members, by also serving in different roles to represent Kala in JCLC. The conference is held every four years, and we just had one that was quite successful, and there will be a call for another one, volunteers for later. Here is the name and slate of the Kala Executive Committee, which is actually uh, an important group that helps determine Kala's direction for the year. It is the leadership group, and currently as so thankful of the opportunity to and thank my executive committee members for providing input, for responsiveness, for engaging with Kala members and representing Kala. So that includes Vice President Finsi Kwong, Vice President-elect Guo Ying, Grace Liu, Immediate Past President Wen Li Gao, Treasurer Ying Liao, Executive Director Michael Bailu Huang. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at the Kala EC Lesserve xc at kala-web.org and someone will get back to you about your inquiry. And as a result, Kala runs similar to the American Library Association's leadership schedule. So we start on July 1st and, we, and then we end on June 30th. And we welcome the new incoming Kala Executive Committee for this year uh, and this coming year that starts later uh, in July. And so this will be led by President Vinci Kwong, and I will be uh, immediate past president. And we also welcome Vice President-elect Yan He, who will be president of Kala in 2025-2026. And we also want to thank Wen Li Gao for her service as immediate past president, president, vice president, and vice president-elect. And you can also reach out to us uh, later in July if you have any questions or need input, whether it's about Kala or library related matters. So the Kala Executive Committee work closely with the Kala Board of Directors. So these 15 individuals were elected in the past and they serve a three year term. Their requirement is to meet three times a year. So that includes board meeting director, board meetings for directors in usually in, in the summer, in January, and then back in June. The Kala Board of Directors shall be the decision-making body empowered by the general membership to adopt policies, appoint officers as specified by the constitution bylaws, approve the budget, review the association's activities and transactions, and determine the participation of association in joint programs with other organizations. So we wanna thank and recognize our 2020-2023 Kala Board of Directors who will be rotating off and welcome our incoming 2023 to 2026 Board of Directors, as well as uh, acknowledge and thank those who've been serving from 2022 to 2025, as well as 2021 to 2024. For those who are not familiar, Kala also have local meetings and groups. So this means we have chapters, chapters representing each of these different regions that you see from Greater Mid-Atlantic Chapter, Midwest Chapter, Northeast Chapter, Northern California Chapter, Southern California Chapter, Southeast Chapter, Southwest Chapter, and Canadian Chapter. And we recently have Asia Pacific chapter. And these are the presidents that have been taken up on this leadership from 2022 to 2023. And we welcome 2023 to 2024's leadership. These are the incoming chap Kala chapters. They also start at the same time um, on July 1st and ending on June 30th. And their work will support Kala's opportunities to engage locally. They're Requirement is to have an annual program each year, virtual or in person, and this is a way to 
recruit more column members, students, or seasoned members who, or who maybe, maybe have lapsed or completely new folks and be part of Kala through the chapters. We wanna thank them and their leadership, thank those who are rotating off and thank those coming in. In addition, uh, Kala also have standing committees and subcommittee chairs. So they all start on July 1st and end on June 30th. And I want to specifically thank all of these names listed here who have served as chair leading up these different important operations, as well as projects that will continue to promote Kala and strengthen Kala's work. Um, so you can see the list here. This includes a conference to travel grants, to awards, to web committee, to public relations, nominations, membership committee, mentoring committee, international relations, election committee, conference program, constitution and bylaws, and assessment evaluation. Thank you all so much for serving on these various committees and leading the committees to do their work as stated within Kala. And also for those who are interested, when you serve on these committee roles, whether as leaders, chair roles, or committee members, you develop new skills and opportunities and networking. And there are more. And I wanna thank uh, all of these members for serving on these respective roles. So that might be representatives as well as um, publications and social media and task force. So we've done a lot of great work this year. So for virtual and in-person activities from January, 2023 to June of 2023, these are some of the major highlights that we have had. And this includes a virtual membership meeting and board of directors meeting open to all back in January. We had a joint conference uh, community call with the Asian Pacific American Librarian Association regarding the Monterey Park and Half Moon Bay tragedies, JCLC conference in St. Pete Beach, Florida, 50th anniversary gathering that many of you may have attended or seen the recording, college speakers webinar series on Chinese Wikidata data and cultural heritage, Kala Yalsa webinar series, Wikipedia Editathon, Apollo and Kala virtual event, and also a, a webinar with the Association of Jewish Libraries, as well as a webinar we just had last month on authors talking and presenting their, their work. Kala's virtual membership meeting that just was held recently, and the award ceremony, as well as the Board of Directors three meeting that was held earlier uh, last week. Upcoming, we have Kala's President Program, the Kala Midwest Chapter Annual Program, and the 50th Anniversary Social and Poster President Presentation at ALA Annual in Chicago. So more information will be there. And most of these are recorded, so you can check them out at, at YouTube. So youtube.com slash at Kala channel. And in addition, I wanna recognize the chapters and their work. Many of them have hosted in-person, hybrid or virtual meetings. And this was a great way to, for Kala members to attend, learn from each other, and also promote their own work through the conference presentations and making networking opportunities, uh, which is something we really value and support. So this year as president, I had the opportunity to really promote Kala and its 50th anniversary in library and information science spaces and publications. So that includes the Scholarly Kitchen, uh, focusing on Kala's International Journal of Librarianship, which is Kala's open access publication, and Kala Sys, which is Kala's repository. And you can read more if uh, you click on the link uh, to find out more about this um, publication that I wrote with Sai Dang and Grace Liu. We also have a promotion of the Kala Best Book Awards for 2023 for children and young adults. Um, I should say um, the books were featured last year in uh, 2022, and so we recognize them for this year. And School Library Journal promoted them. We also have upcoming podcast promotions, so that includes Public Library Association's podcasts that will come out in July, Asian American Education Project newsletter featuring Kala Yalsa's Task Force, Stories Beyond the Border, a Chinese American and Diasporic reading list that Crystal Chen and uh, Melody Leung uh, put together. So we'll definitely highlight this a little bit more later. And then the American Libraries, a publication from the American Library Association. So there will be an upcoming issue piece featuring Kala and its 50th anniversary. So stay tuned for that. In addition, we want to thank and recognize our members. So this also includes one of Kala's members who ran for the American Library Association, Cindy Ho. Congratulations, Cindy, for successfully winning and becoming the American Library Association's president. Her term will start in a couple of years, 
So we're really excited because Cindy is a tremendous Kala member, supporter, and advocate. We also want to congratulate the following folks for being part of ALA Council, as well as IFLA for being part of their standing committees, as well as other uh, important groups uh, under IFLA. In addition, we have, as I mentioned, a Kala SIS, which is the Kala Academic Resource and Repository System. You can learn more about the collections, publications, poster presentations, activities. You can all contribute as Kala members. Learn more going to ir.kala-web.org. And you can find out more about the 50th anniversary activities and many of the information, uh, especially the upcoming poster presentations at ALA Annual Conference that you can find in Kala SIS. We also have the Kala newsletter that's held uh, two times a year. This year, we had a special issue on the 50th anniversary. It was quite extensive that this uh, Kala newsletter committee put together, and you can find out more on the timeline, the tributes, and more information about Kala. And other activities, uh, as I mentioned, the standing committees in Kala, they do a lot of work, uh, including a mentoring program committee. So if you are a student, if you're new to Kala and you want to connect with mentors, uh, feel free to participate in the mentoring program committee. There's also been surveys from the assessment evaluation committees that will help support Kala. And this was a great way to learn more about Kala members and their interests within chapters and professional development. And as I mentioned earlier, Kala's Open Access Journal, International Journal of Librarianship, IJOL, which you can find journal.kalaijol.org. It is free for you to read. And if you want to publish, feel free to take a look at the requirements. We encourage submissions. It's about two times a year, I believe. And there are no um, article processing charges known as APC. And this is a great way to disseminate your research if you are interested in doing this kind of work. And we encourage this because this is focuses on a global perspective. For those who are into social media, you can follow us either on the Kala um, Facebook page, which is a group. There's also Kala Twitter's channel, uh, which you can see um, all the updates coming through. And there's an active WeChat group. If you're interested in joining WeChat, please reach out to a member of the Kala Executive Committee, and uh, they'll be sure to, to add you as well. Um, if you want to email us, uh, we're welcome to share the QR code later. And now there is the 50th anniversary information that I want to share briefly with all of you. The first is the book list and webinar series um, focusing on the Kala and Yalsa collaboration. For those who are not familiar with YALSA, it is a division within the American Library Association known as Young Adult Library Services Association. It's focusing on youths and young adults and teens. And the Kala subcommittee um, working with YALSA created this amazing open access book list that features Chinese American and diasporic experiences that was put together uh, nicely with a graphic and so forth. You can find this in the Kala SIS a repository, and we welcome you sharing this with your fellow librarians, either you're in public, academic, or school, consider purchasing these collections for your library so that your readers can access them and understand that there are a multi-ray of experiences and diversity within the Chinese diaspora community. In addition, as I mentioned, there is the ALA annual conference that's happening in Chicago. The first is that there is a college president program at ALA annual conference. The president's program happens every year in at ALA annual conference and its focus is on the president's um, area of interest. And so this year we will be having a president's panel with other president of library associations to talk about their work, their leadership, their milestones in celebration of college 50th anniversary, as well as their reflection on JCLC conference that just happened in 2023, in February. There's also, as I mentioned, many chapters, and this chapter this year, the Midwest chapter, will start their annual program at the ALA annual conference, and you can find out more information on the Midwest chapter's website. 
In addition, this is a opportunity for you to attend and participate in person to meet with other column members. And please note, you do have to be registered to attend the ALA annual conference, but you do not need to be an ALA annual ALA member. And so we welcome and encourage all to participate if you happen to be attending the ALA annual conference. In addition, we have the Collins 50th Anniversary Social and Poster Presentations at ALA Annual Conference, which is our signature event, as well as the other two. And so this event, you'll see over many posters that we'll share shortly, but also a lot of representatives from our sponsors will be there and there will be appetizers and light refreshment for you to uh, take in and connect with column members. I also want to acknowledge and thank our column members for volunteering to staff the ALA Affiliates table at ALA Exhibits Hall, booth 1416. If you are attending the ALA Annual Conference and you're going to the Exhibit Hall, please feel free to stop by at these hours to meet Susan, Crystal, Ning, and Minyan to connect with them and to say hi if you happen to be there. These are the times and dates that they will be uh, staffing the booth and representing column. As I mentioned, the Kala's 50th anniversary social and presentation session will include these presentations that you'll see here. These are all poster sessions. And we have an array of presenters coming in from outside of the United States. So that includes um, United, uh, North America, parts of North America and Canada, as well as Asia Pacific region that you can check out. These topics include um, technology, scholarly communication, as well as um, uh, and, uh, assessment and other areas of interest. And here are some other ones. To find out a full list and their description, you're welcome to click on this link in the slide deck and get into the Google Sheet to get more information about these important and fascinating projects. Congratulations to all the Kala poster present presenters for being here and presenting at the Kala's poster session. In addition, we also will feature Kelly Yang, who is a New York Times bestselling author. She will be attending as a guest at the Kala 50th Anniversary show Social during the presentations. And this will be a brief informal Q&A with Kelly and her new book, Finally, Finally Seen. For those who are not familiar, uh, Kelly Yang is also this year's ALA Honorary Chair and representing ALA and its interests. And we really are excited to uh, see Kelly and meet Kelly in person. There will also be um, giveaways and books uh, from Penguin Random House Library Marketing, as well as Simon & Schuster. Kelly Yang's books will also be there. So we hope you'll be able to meet her and um, say hi to her as well. So again, thank you so much for being a Kala member, for being a Kala leader and leading Kala with us. And if you're thinking about joining, please consider joining and being part of this amazing group for over 50 years and continue to support our work. This poster you see here, or rather a calendar that you see here, is a design uh, that our Public Relations and Fundraising Committee, led by Wei Ling Liu, uh, put together with a graphic designer. And so this was our gift, um, recognizing Kala's 50th anniversary fifth, during the Year of the Rabbit. And now we're going to transition to our um, award ceremony. So traditionally, we would meet in person to do this at the Kala banquet. But because of COVID and the lack of volunteers to support this effort, we decided to turn this into a virtual recognition. And in the future, maybe this will happen where we can acknowledge and congratulate Kala recipients. For a full list, you can click on the link and learn more um, to see uh, who and what award categories were given. And we will also wanna acknowledge and thank our leader volunteers, all those uh, chairs I mentioned earlier for uh, various awards and scholarships and travel grants. Thank you for leading and evaluating and providing your input during the process. So first we want to get into the Distinguished Service Awards. The Kala 2022-2023 Distinguished Service Award goes to Hong Yao, uh, a former Kala president, as well as a uh, director of technical services at Queens Public Library. Next, we have the Kala 2022-2023 Outstanding Library Leadership Award in memory of Dr. Margaret Chang Fung, who goes to 
uh, it goes to Hai Peng Li, uh, who is the University Library at UC Merced, former Kala president, as well as executive director, as well as representing Kala in the, the JCLC steering committee back in 2012. And Hai Peng has been such a mentor and support to all Kala members throughout, uh, throughout his time, as well as Hong. We recognize both of them for their distinguished service by giving and acknowledging this award. Congratulations. Next, we have Best Research Awards and the Shayla Swin Lai Research Grant. So this year, the Kala Jing Liao Award for Best Research goes to Ping Fu, and the Shayla Swin Lai Research Grant goes to Shi Yi Xie. So uh, congratulations to both of them for their incredible work and their forthcoming work um, in research. Next, we have the Sally C. Zhang Professional Development Grant recipient, who uh, this uh, specific award recognizes a, uh, offers a professional development grant for a column member to do research. So this goes to uh, Feng Ruxu, uh, who will be uh, working on uh, library instruction through research and innovation, pedagogical approaches. This grant will provide her the crucial support to gain a better understanding of the flipped classroom approach and its best practices in the context of library instruction. Next, we have Kala Annual Book Award winners. So the Children's Fiction Best Book Award goes to um, Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yi, and the Honor Book goes to Key Player by Kelly Yang. The Children's Nonfiction goes to, for Best Book Award, Maya Lin, She Persisted Series by Grace Lin, and Honor Book goes to The Rise and Falls of Jackie Chan by Kristen May Jiang. For the Kala Annual Book Award winners for Young Adult Fiction, Best Book Award goes to This Place is Still Beautiful by Xi Xi Tian. An honor book is If You Could See the Sun by Anne Liang. Young Adult Nonfiction Best Book Award goes to Messy Roots, a memoir of Wuhanese American by Laura Gao. And this year we did not have an honor book uh, listed. For Adult Fiction, Best Book Award goes to our Missing Heart by Celeste Ng. Honor book goes to Disorientation by Elaine Cho. Excuse me, Elaine Xie Cho. Adult Nonfiction Best Book Award goes to Stay True, a memoir by Hua Xu. Honor book is Kingdoms of Characters, The Language Revolution That Made China Modern by Jing Xu. Congratulations to all of the book awards winners for their um, recognition. And thank you so much to the Kala Best Book Awards subcommittee. Now for the scholarship awards, we recognize uh, three recipients this year. Usually it's one, but because we, we had two sponsored by Sage, we wanna thank Sage for that. We have Hannah Gershon, Vivian Poon, and Ken Louis. Congratulations to our college students for their um, scholarship grant. Next, we also have a college Shayla Swin Lai Scholarship of Library Information Science. This year, it goes to Judy Lowe. Congratulations. This year, we also have a, um, th a three recipients for the Huang Zhouping and Wu Yaoyu uh, Research and Scholarship. Uh, one goes to a professor, Professor um, Cheng Yi, and another one uh, for two students, uh, Liu Yan and Chuan Qian. So um, congratulations to all of them. This uh, research and scholarship is determined by the Wuhan University in partnership with Kala. So thank you so much for that um, support. And we also wanna recognize all the Kala travel grants coming in for the ALA annual conference, as well as other conferences this year. The recipients are listed here as well as the upcoming World Library Information Congress travel grant for IFLA. Congratulations to everyone receiving this grant and attending these conferences. We look forward to seeing your reports that you can submit to the treasurer and to the newsletter editor later. Now this year, personally, I want to thank as uh, the college president, uh, recognizing our committees for doing outstanding work. All committees do outstanding work, especially these ones that took on specific roles. 
So this includes the newsletter subcommittee, public relations and fundraising committee, call assist subcommittee, mentoring program committee, web committee, and Gakala Yasa Task Force. Congratulations for an extraordinary year and your work and your leadership in supporting Kala. Now for individual members, each year the president determines who deserves these uh, awards. And so all Kala members have potential to do this work. And for this year, we really wanna recognize these individuals for their work in supporting Kala and focusing on specific projects, goals, and also um, work that really highlights um, Kala's efforts. Thank you so much. So congratulations to all Kala Award recipients and honors and titles. So many work out there and we really, really want to um, thank all the committees involved in the selection process, evaluation process, and this should be uh, concluding our award ceremony as well as our virtual sort of membership presentation. And thank you all so much. Look forward to seeing you at the American Library Association annual conference in Chicago if you plan to be there. If you won't be there, uh, we hope to see you in the future in virtual and or in-person events. Take good care. <laughs>